to do a video series for you. And in that series, I'm going to teach how to make a proper tree video. So, jumping right into it, you will start with an introduction. This could be the introduction of the video. I've got a job to go do. The crew needs help. I don't have to put a lot of time in there, but if I show up with a chainsaw with some climbing gear, I can knock the edge off the time that they're there. So that could be the introduction. That's actually what's happening. But the point is, you need a sequence. You need a story flow to the video. Whether you get fancy like and make up some kind of plot uh, like we did on uh, the A-Team videos. We had a plot where we needed help with the project and we made this kind of magical way that we could instantly summon some help and it was just kind of a fun thing to do. Or whether it's just a simple straightforward tree video and you you have to show a proper sequence to it. Introduction, then you got the body of the video, the work. You need to show enough of the work to show the sequence of the job without showing so much of the work that it's just boring and you click away from it. And that varies depending on your audience. Some people would sit there and watch four or five hours of live monotonous video. Other people, they will click away within minutes if the screen doesn't constantly change. So you gotta show sequence. And then you need some decent ending too. And it should sort of be like bookends. Introduction and the end should be some nice little bookends that you, you introduced what you were gonna do, you did what you were gonna do, and then you kind of close out with a happy ending of yay we did it. That's a basic tree video. The simplest ones are one project, one camera. And you can do it with one camera. You just set the camera a few different places enough to again capture the sequence of the things that happen on the job. So what we'll do today is I'll bring the camera, I'll show up, we'll look at the tree a little bit, we'll do some tree work, and then I'll leave and we'll have sort of a wrap up, a conclusion. So that'll be a nice tidy video. And then in the next video, I'll go into detail about how to actually do the edit. So here we are. I'm a little late for some of the action, but Jeff has already stripped out this one, used it as a spar pole. And they're real particular here at this place. It's immaculate here. So like he's dropping his limbs on plywood and then he's rigged this with the brush on over to here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the top of that one and rig the top over to that spar. It'll be closer to the Vermeer. And then I'll just then I'll just rig pieces off with the brush on them. Then they'll be able to process them nice and smooth and effortless and it'll be all just a big fat hooray. What's up YouTube? So what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut down this fir tree. This is a yard where the people are quite particular about it so that's why there's plywood here in various places for the limbs that Jeff dropped earlier. So because they have quite a detailed mindset about their stuff we are going to just rig this over to that spar with the limbs and the stems all connected and that's kind of a noodly spar but we've got the lowering device over there and the tree over here so that puts the spar in the middle which means when it first comes off 
it's going to be pushing the spar down into the ground instead of bending it crazy. So here's a video editing tip for you. When you just have one camera or whether you have multiple cameras, you have to break up the monotony of, of shooting only with your helmet cam. Any constant camera angle, any angle that doesn't change and it's all shot from one perspective, especially the dizzying helmet perspective, will will make a video that you want to click away from. So it's okay to use the helmet cam a little. We used it a little when I started up. So in order to get a better sequence, better coverage of the sequence, then you'll need to do silly things like go up above where you're gonna climb to and set the camera like so. So set the camera up and I don't do this very often, but um, if I want to show, tell the story more than just get the job done, I'll do stuff like this. I'll set you guys right there. And then I'll drop down a bit and then I'll, I'll show some of the ascent just for a good uh, story flow sequence, sequence of events. Like so. Another thing, don't go with just action. Like, you ever been to an action movie like Terminator 2 or something like that, where you were tired when you left? There was just like not enough uh, bridges, you know? You gotta throw in a few things where something funny happens or you stop and talk for a second or you, you just do something that's not quite so action. <laughs> so just to show the sequence what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to yell down and say okay give me the rope and that'll be the only thing that makes it into the sequence but it's a nice break uh it shows sequence and it's not action you know what i mean hey jeff yeah. tie on the rigging rope so again, we show a little bit of the process. Okay, tighten it up. Tie on the rigging rope. So in a tree, you got this scaffolding, this framework all around you for camera placement. Get yourself a GoPro mount so that you can put a camera just about anywhere and don't do everything with your helmet. So right now, we'll put you guys over here and You should have a pretty good view of the action from right there. This is one of those tops that I can get leverage on when it's when it's tipping. When it when I need to, I can pull on this limb and I get leverage out here. Oh, got a little bit of wind. Which direction is it blowing? Kind of back this way. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So this would be a great one for another camera because then you'd see the action from from the spar wobble. You know that spar is going to take a hit right now. It's going to wobble. It'd be really cool. But we got one camera. We'll show this, and you show spar wobble, ground view or whatever from a from a different one. You can do it a few times anyway. You can still capture the sequence with one camera. So 
would have been cooler to show the spar wobble than it was here. So we'll make sure and get you over there too. How was it? Wobbly. You loved it, right? Yeah, it was great. Okay. He thought it was a bit wobbly, but but I forced him to say that he loved it. It wobbles a bit because we're above the spar, see? We're above the lowering point and we're pretty far away. So for the next camera viewpoint, we'll leave you guys attached to the top, to the piece that goes over. And that's another way you can kind of mix it up, still show the sequence, but spice up the video a little bit. So I'm gonna abandon you up here with this piece and then they'll have the camera on the next one to show the wobble of the next one. You gotta do things to make sure your view is not obscured. Behind the scenes stuff, people. You wanna make a proper tree video, it takes a little bit of effort. Okay, moving right along. So now for another rigging point of view. We'll put you guys out on that limb there so you can see all the way over to the spar. And if it doesn't get too wonky, then it'll be a nice ride for the viewer.
Okay, YouTube, so we're getting through this. It's a good thing to keep moving the camera angle. Always a new angle, always a cool new perspective. So the one that looks down the rigged piece to the cutter as it's coming off is always interesting, like so. So now Jeff's gonna negative rig the spar and my part's done, I can go home. Got to try to get your camera close to the final shot without crushing the camera. Concerning recommended equipment for this series, I'm going to suggest GoPro. You're going to want probably the newest one if possible. It doesn't have to be, but it has the best sound, has the best picture. You're going to want a GoPro clamp so that you can get more than just a helmet cam view. I'm going to show the editing side with Final Cut Pro. I've done editing on both. Windows platforms and Mac and Mac is the best in my opinion. So if you remember at the beginning of the video and I was talking about story flow, the intro, the body of work in the middle and then the conclusion, you can make a nice concise video out of a lot of footage, boil it down, but you need a clear sequence. You need that intro, you need the body, but not to overdo how much work is in the body. And then you need a strong conclusion. And that brings me to the subject of camera troubles because every time there is some kind of malfunction with usually a human 
running the camera or the camera itself, there'll be just glitches. And that is really the downside of shooting with only one camera, because if you have multiple cameras, you can at least get another view of the shot if something happened to the first shot. This video is no exception. I set the camera scary close, wanted to get the charging rhino that dies at your feet effect. So the log crashes down on these other logs and literally stops eight inches from the middle of the lens. Would have taken up the entire camera picture here. Would have been a beautiful conclusion, but because we had used up some battery power on a little mishap we had over here with Adam on the skid steer, we didn't have enough battery at the end. There always will be some kind of camera trouble and some of it, it'll break your heart. You'd rather smash the camera than lose footage. And sometimes you'll do both. So for this video, I have to end it with something a little different. I could end it with just my spar hitting the ground and not do the roping part. Or I could just kind of fade out as we're roping the last pieces down. So now let's show you what the concise video would look like with a little bit of music added and a few edits to tell the story more like poetry. And poetry is short and sweet in my opinion. Tune in next time and we'll talk about the editing. What's up YouTube? What we're gonna do, I'll go to the top of that one and rig the top over to that spar. Then I'll just rig pieces off with the brush on them. And they'll be able to process them effortless and it'll be all just a big fat hooray, 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 hooray. big fat hooray. It'll be all just a big fat hooray.